This is an update for Sunday, September 10th through Saturday, September 16th. I've tried a few videos here where I kind of talked while doing something else and I'm not really liking the format so I'm probably not going to do any more of those. I'm just going to keep it more of the casual talking to the camera thing here. Uh, it just, I'm not enjoying the videos while doing other things. Okay, it is Friday, September 15th, I think, I guess, been, been a week, I mean the Napa job is going fine, it, it, it's, it's fine, I just, you know, starting a new job is always, always a terrible thing. Especially when it's not your, you know, life plan to be starting this particular job and you you spend most of your time at this particular job getting beat down, telling yourself, why are you uh, working at a Napa for $16 an hour when you have a Bachelor's of Science in Information Technology and 12 and a half years of experience? And you have to continuously keep reminding yourself that your reasons are good and it's what the Lord wants you to do, but it doesn't necessarily make it any easier to remind yourself of those things. But that's kind of been the week. I've just been holding together as I can. Telling myself it'll be fine. Not entirely believing myself, but telling myself that anyways. Brakes on the bike died on me, so I had to wear some new ones. Well, the front brakes were still functioning, but the uh, the rear ones went down entirely. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm changing out the brakes on my, my e-bike here. be easier if I took the tire off, but I'm not going to take the tire off. Because, I mean, who wants to do things the easy way? Hold on. I think I'm going to have to get in here and compress this wheel cylinder back a little bit. I need a, I need a screwdriver. Anyways, we'll pause on this for just for your bike fixing for a moment. It's just, I just been feeling, been feeling lost and listless and hopeless and stupid and dumb and completely worthless. Trying to learn new systems and, you know, I really haven't got any self-esteem at all, so. I'm very hard on myself. I don't learn things instantly. I immediately just try to destroy myself. And so it's been it's been a bit of a challenge this week, but it's it's coming along and I mean I'll, I'll get better. Ugh. At least that's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> so many parts of me just wanna write this off and just go back you know just go back to Michigan and pick, pick up a new job in IT and say the heck with this whole thing I'm doing here but that is not an option and I have no intentions of doing that See if I can get this guy to pop in here appropriately. If I can remember how. Come on. I really am doing this the uh, the complicated way here. You know what? I don't need these little things on this bike. They're just kind of there to hold your brakes in place. I don't need them, so I'm not going to put them on. But there's the front one. And we got some really... Oh, yeah. Got some new uh, 
cotter pens to run through here. But yeah, just it's been one of those weeks. I know we all have them, but it's just been a long, difficult, difficult week. I assume it'll get better. I mean, I have faith that the Lord will make it better. But it's it's difficult right now. I know my wife's been struggling with it as well. And I'm pretty certain that I'm not going to keep, or I'm not going to stop feeling useless at work. Because, I mean, there are really nice people, but, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be stocking shelves and waiting counters at an auto parts store, but... The Lord leads us to where we need to go when we need to be there, ultimately. And it's always best to just listen and do what we're told. Even if that means being very frustrated. Yeah, we gotta move over to the other wheel now. Gotta pull the skirt off here. Just one of those things. Just, I don't know, hopefully it'll get better as the weeks go on and I learn the store a little better, but it's, it's a fight, it is. It's an absolute fight. I just, I can't get it out of my head. Just fighting with me, telling me to leave, telling me to give it up, telling me that it's not worth my time. But ultimately, I know that it is worth my time, and we'll keep pushing and working at it. And I'll move this guy over here because I put it on the wrong side here. Take that down there. There we go. Here and pull this cotter pin out. Maybe if I can get it out. Oh, I'm totally. Oh, 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 sorry. Just gonna bump that camera and make this a jostly mess. There you go. There's the old cotter pin. Come on. That's what they look like. You see split pins here. There we are. Sometimes you see on equipment, this one unfolds or this unfolds the other direction, holds stuff together. Let's get in here and pull these brake pads out. I already had these apart once to take a look at them, so I don't even think I have the springy bit in here on this one. That thing that provide some tension. I don't really, I'm not going to worry about them. Well, maybe I do. I don't know. Yeah, this 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 guy is uh, wore down pretty good there. It's not a lot of life left on that guy. The hills here in New Ulm made short work of my old uh, brake shoes here. Or brake pads. I'm sorry. Drum brakes are shoes. Disc brakes are pads. Remember that. It's important to know. And second set coming in. Maybe. I'm going to be mad if I end up having to take these off. Is that going in the right way? No, no, I'm putting these in backwards. There we go. Hook goes down. And in you go. Now, can we get this side to seat in here? No, because I need to 
I tried to push the hydraulic piston back too soon in this one. I didn't have the other brake pad to butt up against for leverage, so that's why it didn't work. Uh, come on, you see, this, this job is a good example of the struggle that I'm going through in life right now and uh, struggling in general. <laughs> Things that should be easier to do but aren't because we decide of our own will to not do them the right way. Had I taken the time to flip this bike over and take these tires off, I could have uh, compressed that piston. It's, there's, there, you can't see it, but right, right, right in here is a piston. And hydraulic pressure pushes it out. But if I had taken the wheels off here, I could have got in there, compressed that piston appropriately, and the knees would have slotted right back in with absolutely no gripe with the little uh, flexi pieces here that are supposed to be on there. And this would have been a much simpler job, but I decided to not do it the right way. I decided that I didn't want to take the tire off because I didn't want to deal with having to take it off. Being an e-bike, taking this tire off and wheel off is slightly different than a regular bike. It's not quite the same as just popping off your lug nuts or loosening up your skewer. This has electrical cables and... Oops, I've never had it apart before and I just didn't feel like making this the first time because I'm worried that I won't get it back together when I know very well that I could take any part of this bike apart, put it back together with no issues. I've worked on this bike before. I've had parts of it ripped apart before. It's not like it's hard. I can just disconnect the cable and the thing comes off and works, but there we are. Brake pads installed until such time as the hills here in New Ulm decide to destroy these ones, but that's all right. I have two more sets ready to go on the bike. Anyways, that's it for me right now. Just, yeah, just feeling miserable this week. Feeling lost and listless. Listless. It'll get better. We'll get through this and we'll get back to school next year. Okay, so here we are back again. Retouching the uh, learning experience from yesterday and the uh, point of not doing things the correct way. I just can't stand to have this thing sitting here with all these parts out of there supposed to be on it. Frankly, it's driving me a little nuts, so we're gonna I'm going to take this guy apart and put these on. Oh, come on. Can I focus these guys on? Come on. See, if I'd have done this right in the first place, I would have been doing this entire process, except I would have only had to have dealt with this once instead of doing this entire process and doing it the wrong way. Anyways, oh. Moral of the story is, uh, do everything you do as if the good Lord has commanded you to do it. And that way you won't lose parts or fall on the floor. Hmm. Where did they go? Well, they couldn't have gone far. I mean, it's just a little piece of metal. I found it with my foot. <laughs> I stepped on it properly. Oh, oh, this is uh, what Saturday, September sixteenth, I think. We got a bill from the hospital today for 
the ER visit with the uh, five-year-old a few weeks back for 400 and I don't know 400 450 dollars kind of doesn't it kind of looks like they didn't actually attempt to charge our insurance company but we're not sure we were told that night that we wouldn't owe anything but now we've got a 400 and some odd dollar bill that we don't really have the money to pay for but it is what it is the good lord will provide always has always will The best thing about God is his love knows no bounds and it's always there. Anywho, that was our excitement for the day. Uh, my wife's sick. I'm hoping I don't get it. I'm hoping the rest of the family doesn't get it. But we'll see about that. I certainly cannot afford to miss any time at work. That would be detrimental in many different ways. You know, here, I just took the uh, cotter pin out. I'm gonna move you around here so you can actually see what I'm doing. Oops. I'm gonna move you around here so I can keep kicking this and making this process as jumpy as possible. Shaky and wobbly. Come on. Let's, there we are. Okay. Ugh. Now that we got that out, we can pop in here. This this pin slides through an eyelet here, which goes through eyelets on the brake pads and holds them in place and make sure they don't fall out. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pull these guys back out. Get one of these silver guys, and the silver pieces go to the inside here and fit around the brake pad here on either side and then fall ah. they also have a hole in them to line up with this pinhole here ah, I don't know didn't really need that bell but it's one of those things that it is what it is I gotta compress this cylinder a little more, I think. I don't think this is a, maybe I, I bet I compressed the wrong side. I bet you that's what I did. I don't work on hydraulic brakes a lot. I, not very often you cut through these brake pads. They usually do a pretty good job of pulling together. Here we go. Set back into there like that. So I don't usually change out a lot of brake pads on hydraulics. Rim brakes seem to wear out a lot faster. Is this in here correctly? <laughs> no, I don't need any more stupid mistakes or stupidity. In in general, come on, bugs. I just need stuff to fit. There we are. Back into place. Let my pin go. Then we can take the pin and run it back through the holes here. Come on, pin. There we go. We'll take a screwdriver. Fold these guys back out. So this pin doesn't go anywhere it shouldn't be going. And there. Now those brake pads are held in. Should be held in there. Stiff. They're not just going to be free float. These things serve a purpose. They kind of hold things in place. And when you don't do it, you can get some oddities with your brake pads but like I said I was being lazy doing stuff I shouldn't have been doing teaching a lesson that I knew better ah, lesson I already knew okay that should do it for the front
Anyways, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make you uh, watch this whole process. I don't think it's necessary for you to watch me do the rear one. Um, I just wanted to do the quick update about the uh, the bill. Uh, I mean, we, we can come up with the money to pay it. It's not a huge thing, but my wife's gonna call the hospital and talk to them about it. That's what they told her to do. They said, oh, you don't owe anything, but if you get a bill, call us. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, That was our Saturday today, not much. Not much besides the bill, I'm being tired. Um, God bless and may the Lord bless you and keep you all and uh, please like and subscribe and check the bell if you want to and pass this channel on to anyone else you think might like watching it.